What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Radcast. I'm Andrew DiMolanta. My friends call me Roglier. And I'm Nikki DiMolanta, and everybody calls me Timmy. Before we get into today's episode, I got something special that we got in the mail. Hey! Wow, wait. Nope. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Push it a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> Our play button came in. Yay! Wow, we did it. Read it. One hundred thousand subscribers. I I'm reading something to prop this up. Hi, Instagram. It's gonna, it's gonna stay here the rest of the episode. Make sure it's not glaring. But yeah, hundred thousand subscribers. Wow, <laughs> we really did it. We really him. did it to them. Sometimes you just Sometimes gotta do it to them. You just gotta do it to them. I mean, and make sure like it's, it's too well. much glare. Too much. No, too much glare. This is pretty cool. Yeah. It's What's it's the weird. Next one? 250? Next one is a million. <laughs> oh my god, well, they really, That's such a disparity. They really ramp it up quick, huh? It goes it goes they've given like a couple they've got a couple of awards to so like uh like three million, five million. There you go. Oh, okay, Thanks. thank you. To like, you know, Blackpink got like three million subscriber. Like I give a thing. shit. Yeah, it's like these <laughs> one off ones that they've done before, but like the general is like a hundred thousand. A million. A million and a hundred million, I think, is the next one. It's the diamond. That's kind of fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, you would think it would be not even a hundred thousand. You would think it would be maybe 250, 500, 70, 750, and then a million. But I guess maybe that's too many milestones. Yeah. It's, uh, like, this, this is a really big milestone for us because, like, it is, yeah. A <laughs> hundred, like, you think about it, it's like, oh, 100,000 subscribers. It doesn't seem like a big thing nowadays with YouTube because, like, you know, everybody has a fucking channel now and, like, Mm-hmm. But it's like, think about a hundred thousand people. That's like what, like a, an NFL stadium holds up to like seven hundred. Like I don't know how much. No, probably but it depends on the stadium. It probably depends on the stadium or, or, or whatever. But like that's a lot of people. A room full of fifty people is a lot. It is room full of a hundred people is a lot. A, a room full of a thousand. Remember the last time I was in a room with a thousand people. Probably celebration. Celebration, but I do remember specifically in Chicago that Schmodown live event. Yeah. In Chicago. I don't remember how many people were there. It was over that was a thousand people. Your first match? No, 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 no. That was a couple hundred. The the live event uh, for the title. In that one theater with Alec Alex and Strimshaw went 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 oh, the title. Okay. That yes. was a room full of thousand oh, people. Oh yes, I'm with you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It took a second. Yeah. I'm yeah, there. but that was a room full of a thousand people. That's a lot of people. It was. Multiply that that by a hundred. That's a lot of people. That's how many people subscribe to our channel. So it's like wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Why? It's it's really it's really weird because I, I I I like well we start I I started this channel in twenty eleven, like that I think. So it's been a long time coming. I never thought I'd reach we, we'd reach a hundred thousand. Yeah. So and to have like something like on the wall, I put it up on the wall above my computer, and it's like that's really cool. That's a million. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I will say about this thing is like, I wish they would use a different color for like the text because like when you look at it at a certain angle, it's just like, you can't really see what it says. There's not much contrast. Yeah. There's not a lot of but contrast in it. But we were just talking about that. This is just, that's the way people like things to look sleek and sleek modern and, and, modern, and yeah. futuristic and not much contrast mm-hmm. and everything's like, chrome and mm-hmm. white and plain. Yeah. <laughs> But you know you're you like simplistic things. I do so. like some very simplistic things. This is a little too. I wish they're like because like the button itself is is like mirror, um, and I get like why it's like it's silver and everything because the next one is the gold button for a million, <laughs> and then after that is the diamond button, which only like I think ten exists in the, in the entire world. Yeah, well. So because it's got hundred million subscribers. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's it's weird, but yeah. We got this. I got this in the mail the, yesterday. In fact, fun. It's. I was like, oof. And I was on the treadmill when it came in because I got the notification on my phone. It's like, oh, your package has been delivered. And like, immediately on the on the, on the treadmill, going, hey, check the front door for my package. I don't want anybody taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw that. Like, oh, what, what the fuck got delivered? Delivered. <laughs> And then I open the door and it's like a box from YouTube. I'm like, oh, gotcha. Uh, Word. Yeah, and it came with like a letter of like, oh, you remember your, probably you remember your first subscriber, your first 10, 100 subscribers, your first 1,000 subscribers. You definitely remember your 100,000 subscribers because we have this funny plaque for you now. So it was, why are you looking at me like that? 
Uh, just zoned out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's fun. It's, it's fun. I think that they're... Um, the gap the is gap. a bit well, big, <laughs> but you know, a hundred thousand to a million, that's kind of crazy. It gives you something to work for. <laughs> it gives you a lot to work for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if I would ever want that many subscribers because I don't know. I just, I feel like to be a successful YouTuber, you have to constantly You working. need to be, you need to have that social media. Is you, YouTube a social media? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's you have yeah, I to have that social, social media. media mindset, which yeah. I do not have. YouTube is a little different than other social media platforms because, like, things like Instagram, TikTok, God, what's the other ones? Um, X, things like that. They're very short form. X, yeah, wow. They're very short lived content. Like, yeah. it's not that like evergreen type of stuff. YouTube is more evergreen stuff. Like, you can I, I constantly. Evergreen. Well, it's stuff that you that can live on the platform, and people will continually come back to it oh, and yeah, find it useful. Um, like YouTube tutorials, I, I I constantly go on like projects like, shit, how do I do that thing again? And I have that specific thing in a playlist. Like that's how you do it again. Your own playlist or mm -hmm. other people? No, I, I have a private playlist of like tutorials. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you would like refer to your own videos. No, 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 first. <laughs> no there's that like a bunch of blender stuff, a bunch of like, you know, uh, especially now that I switched over to Divinci Resolve, I have to like constantly go back. Like, how do I do that again? And I go back to the playlist. Like, oh, there it is. Mm. So like, that's what sets YouTube apart from the other ones is like, mm -hmm. there's just things that you can constantly, like the continuous, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Just things you would always come back, fall back on, especially like, it's, it's this little old category. Well, go on, it's been there forever. Mm. Uh, it's, 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 but like it is starting to try to keep up with like things like TikTok with like YouTube shorts. So, <sighs> and it's working. Social media, I know I've said it many times. Social media is so fucking exhausting. It is. It's so dumb how they all, it's compete all, with each other, yeah. They, they all try to compete with, but also emulate each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's just so exhausting and stupid. Like people talk about, I don't want TikTok. And then they go on like YouTube shorts, which is basically the same it's fucking same. shit. But then they want, you know, they, they don't want this app because of X, Y, and Z. And they'd rather use this app because mm -hmm. of A, B, and C. Whatever. I don't give they a fuck. They all have their I uses. Just, I don't, I, I couldn't be, first of all, it, um, makes my skin crawl that influencer is even a profession. I, <sighs> But I could never, because I feel like today's day and age, I know it's not like a requirement, mm -hmm. but I feel like if you wanna be like relevant, you need to have all the platforms. Yeah. You know, here's my link tree and here's where my, you can find my Instagram, you can find my mm -hmm. TikTok, you can find my Twitter, and you can yeah. find my, my, my Amazon storefront. And like, it's too fucking much. Yeah. I don't even update, I have on my phone right now, I have an Instagram. Mm -hmm. Which you never you don't use. I'm getting there. <laughs> a Twitter, a TikTok. Facebook is still hanging around. Yeah. You have to have Facebook if you want have it have to have, if you want an Instagram, which is stupid. Um also yes. Mm -hmm. Is that what I have? Yeah. Um I've never posted a single TikTok and I don't intend to. <laughs> um I hardly ever post on Twitter. I can't remember the last time I did. I feel like it was somewhat recently. Ew, yeah. Um, Instagram. <laughs> uh, I think I posted there maybe. A and your Instagram's private. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I definitely um, made it smaller and I, and I made it private. Yeah, because like I don't know. I we talked about it before with mm. like I just I don't feel comfortable sharing pictures of our our kid online. Yeah, unless it's to a very select. Yeah, a close a closed circuit. Yeah, for you know many many reasons, but like I can't. I the I think the last time I posted on Instagram was like a year or two ago. Maybe yeah. And then what was the other one I said? Uh, uh, Facebook. I don't do shit on Facebook ever. <laughs> like there's certain. Oh, I didn't even know you're in here, baby. <laughs> Dog just walked out. Um, I don't know. There's certain things that I keep around hmm. because. I should have deleted Facebook by now if I really like looked inside yeah. my own, like if I really reflected on myself as yeah. a person, I should have deleted Facebook by now because I don't do shit on it. But I talk to certain people through the Facebook Messenger, which yeah. is a separate app. But I imagine you have to have a Facebook to use Facebook Messenger. I don't think you'd need to. 
it just makes it easier to keep track of things. Also, if I do anything with my Facebook, mm -hmm. it is going to it's going to have a high degree of finality because my login Mm -hmm. email address to Facebook is my old ass UCF student <laughs> email address. I think they might actually have forced you to change that. No. No? <laughs> no. Wow. They forced me to and change it. I don't know what the password is. So, you know, if I log out of my Facebook, I'm, I don't think I'll get back in. But I think it's good to be able to keep in touch with certain people. Like there's certain people that I only really have mm -hmm. ever talked to them through Twitter DMs. Yeah. You know, and I probably should have deleted Twitter by now because I don't really use it. And I it's a it's a fucking dumpster fire yeah, anytime yeah. I go on it. I'm surprised it's still like a thing. Exactly. <laughs> Instagram. I don't really talk to anybody on Instagram. We talk, send each other reels. Yeah. I talk to a couple of people on Instagram, but that's about it. Uh, And TikTok. TikTok I like because mm -hmm. that's actually a good way to like pass time, mm -hmm. learn shit, you know, laugh at stuff. Mm -hmm. I send you TikToks mm -hmm. daily. Um, so I think out of them, my favorite. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't really consider YouTube to be social media, but I guess it's, it kind of is. It is and it isn't. Like, because they have a whole side of YouTube where, like, you can post, like, community updates on your your page and it'll, it'll blast out to all your, your subscribers. And it's just, they're trying, they, they, they're still, it's still YouTube. It stayed, it stayed true to what it is, but there's also a side of YouTube where they're trying to keep up with TikTok and, and Instagram and Facebook and, and all that stuff. So yeah, Reddit Reddit is loosely social media. Reddit, yeah, I would consider that to be almost more of social media. Well, I don't know. It depends on how it is you and isn't. define social media. Yeah, because I mean, I would define Reddit as social media because you can like talk to people. Mm -hmm. It's a social. Yeah. It's geared social towards huh? interaction. Yeah. So, but then again, you don't. Well, no, people post pictures and videos. Yeah. I would consider it, it's just it's just more of a forum type of yeah like old school forums and and things like that but yeah I don't know I just I I I can't really be bothered and is thread still a thing yes what was that even <laughs> it, it's is that like a shoot off it's of Meta's, Twitter it, it's Meta's response to Twitter and it's terrible it's like well the, I didn't fucking see that coming <laughs> and everybody when it first comes out everybody everybody flocked to it rushes it, to it just like that what was that Mam Mastodon Mastodon. I think threads, that go, guys? <laughs> threads downfall is discoverability. They don't, they didn't use a hashtag system. Mm. There's no way to get discovered on, on it. So it's, it's people, people still use it. It's just like, when am I able, I, I haven't been on it in a while. I don't know if they are able to use hashtags yet, but it's like when it first launched, it's like one, when are we able to use hashtags? Two, when is it get integrated with Giphy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, you couldn't do any GIFs or you just couldn't do You You GIFs? would have to upload it yourself, like download a GIF and then upload it. I just had a thought in my head, mm -hmm. in my brain. <laughs> you know how there's psychopaths mm -hmm. out there that say GIF like GIF? Mm -hmm. Do they pronounce it Jiffy, like the peanut butter? But it's the app for GIFs? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Read a book, okay? <laughs> Read a book. Uh, well, because what is graphic into... Oh, what don't does ask me. GIF stand for? I think it's graf graphic, Gra graphic into G. And last time I checked, that's a hard G. But I then, didn't. then people will come back at you. Well, but the creator, the creator of the, of that that format himself says Jeff. Well, then he sounds like a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> if you made it yourself, and G stands for graphic, g g gif graphic. It's not Jeff. Holy shit! And people will say, "Oh, giraffe." That's a totally separate word, and yeah. who cares? <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. And I say Lots gift. of different letters make different sounds. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's GIF. It's GIF to me. And um, it's GIF to me. <laughs> and I don't give a shit if the creator says that. He sounds dumb if that's the I case. I don't know. GIF. GIF. It's peanut butter, my dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't keep up with social media. Like, mm -hmm. when you go to somebody's TikTok and they're like, go to my link tree, and they have like 800,000 links to all their different social medias, <sighs> It, Who's got the time? It, it for that I think you should, especially if you're a really big creator. I post everything, I, the, everything on my my socials is the exact same content except for here and there. And that's but, just what but I'm it's it's pointless. like well no because it's, then it's like half of my audience is here, another half of my audience is there, and if they don't, wow, so popular. If they uh if they see it here, they're not going to see it there. So like I want them to see it. So that's that's. Basically, See, that's why. why I can't be fucking bothered. Um, but yeah, so it's like that. That that's the thing. But like, 
some people treat it as like, oh, my exclusive content is here. So that's what a link tree is like, you know, it's like, oh, you want to follow me here? You can go my Instagram and keep up to date on this certain project that I'm working on. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. It's, that's just uh, a way to get more more followers on a certain app than another one. And it's like, it's weird because lately it feels like I, I've started over on TikTok. Like my videos don't get as many views. Although this last video that I posted is up to like, I think 22,000 22, likes now. TikTok algorithm is it's weird. weird. It, it's weird. That's why, that, that's why like a lot of people are starting to, I started leaning into shorts because that's what got us to this point. And is that one stupid short that's been getting us a lot of traffic. So that's why I've been, and, and like now that we have 100,000 subscribers, like I'm kind of obligated. I feel like I'm obligated to make more like long form content. <laughs> so like I have a bunch of videos that I'm going to try to start cranking out. I don't know. See, that's that's what's hard because mm -hmm. it depends. I don't know. It de Everybody's different. Some people like the shorts because yeah. I don't know, I guess with the uh, rise of TikTok, you know, especially since the pandemic, yeah. especially since quarantine, because I feel like I don't know when TikTok like became a thing initially. Yeah. But in, for me, at least TikTok became a thing right yeah. around quarantine, quarantine, right around lockdown. Like there are certain TikToks that I have mm -hmm. saved that you know how they say like oh scent is the strongest sense tied to memory or whatever yeah there's even like songs and videos and things that you can hear and see yeah are tied to memories and times and you know you can like listen to a song and it teleports you right back to like high school or something yeah there are certain tiktoks i have saved that i am right back in quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> and it's like an oddly warm fuzzy memory mm. um but for me that's when tiktok really was like Oh, this is kind of fucking fun because like initially I was like, oh, this is just a bunch of fucking 13 year olds dancing. Yeah, that's what I, think I thought. That's what a lot of people think mm -hmm. the TikTok is, which. Once you scroll enough yeah. and kind of get your algorithm tuned up a bit, then that's not what it is. Yeah, it, it's just weird now because like back when I when I first joined, that's when like the pool of like creators. I, hate it. Oh, I really I know, don't like I that word. So there's, there's certain I'll get to that in a second. But like, and creators. but like there was a huge flux of Star Wars content creators and I was amongst that. And we all like sort of met each other during that time. Mm. And our a lot of our content was doing really well. Mm. But then after a year or two after that flux of, of of like fans and stuff started like connecting with each other and doing really well on the platform. All of our numbers went, just dipped for whatever reason. That's why I can, <laughs> that's why I can't get into it. Yeah. Especially things like TikTok. That's why I don't, I'm not going to fucking bother posting anything yeah. because the f fame, mm -hmm. the attention it's is fleeting. so fleeting. Yeah. Like you could be, and I also have come to, there's certain buzzwords that happen on the internet that they happen so much that it they become words that I fucking hate. Yeah. And uh, viral is one of those words because every all anybody wants they is to get viral, chasing they viral. that viral yeah. video. And it's like, dog, you can have a viral video one day and nobody gives mm -hmm. a shit about you the next day. You know, like. <laughs> the hawk to a girl. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking dumb. Oh my like, God. It was, it's it's one of yeah. the most perfect recipes for success. Success. I I almost couldn't get the word out. Popularity. Popularity, Popularity is the word that we should use. Viral video. Because I mean, really, if you if you really think about why that video or the sound clip or whatever is popular, mm -hmm. um, pretty girl, hot girl, she is. She is of Tara Reed kind of quality. We were just talking about this the other That's, day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty good. Objectively, she's mm. a pretty, a very pretty woman. Pretty young, pretty girl. Yes. And um, cute, pretty, hot girl makes humorous joke Lude or comment, comment. Yeah. about a very sexual subject. Mm. Success. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody out here these days is so thirsty and ev everybody loves to talk about sex oh, all the time. <laughs> we get to thirsty in a second. <laughs> Thirsty. I bought Star Wars. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but yeah, no. All you got to do is be a moderately uh, ob attractive, objectively attractive, yeah, woman, mm. female, and uh, make a make a either 
a, a, an actual reference to or a joke about something very overtly sexual, mm -hmm. especially if it's funny and especially if it's catchy. Mm. Hoktua, catchy. Short. <sighs> Sweet to the point, people be putting it on shirts already. Um, you would, you, I wouldn't doubt that somebody's got a, a tattoo of it or oh, something. Why would you do you that know, to your body? You know, somebody's done that, whether it's a tramp stamp or oh, oh. I could see somebody getting one of these. <laughs> no, you with it, put it on because she's talking about spitting on it, right? Just on it, on it. Could, could you imagine if somebody if there's got, a man that would do that? Gotta give it that up, <laughs> seek fucking therapy. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh no. Ugh. I don't want to think, think about this, that. It made me think of this fucking picture. I saw somebody respond to somebody too on Reddit uh -huh. where somebody said something ridiculous. Yeah. Unhinged as the kids say. Mm -hmm. And somebody goes, okay, let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm a hide. You seek therapy. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you oh, are, that's good. if you're out here tattooing your dick, Please see. Do you know people have dick tattoos? There has. I'm sure they do. There's like, lots of tattoos that are a bit unsavory. There's lots of things people people are weird and gross. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Anyways, that's that's a pretty solid recipe for success. Yeah. Popularity. Popular. Well, Su I mean, Su I heard that she got fired from her job, but then I also heard, don't know if it's true, mm -hmm. that she got picked up by a talent agency. Doing what? If that, I don't know what talent agency other than OnlyFans is going to pick her up for that kind of, a, what talent was displayed <sighs> other than talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so unless you're starting OnlyFans, I'm not really sure what talent agency is going to dump, dump all their money into that. Like what so, other dumb things on TikTok have gotten people popularity? Corn kid. Corn kid. That, that's, that's a little bit more understandable because it's funny. Kids being funny. It was a lot like I Like Turtles Kid. Yeah. It was it was a very like innocent kind of comment that like caught on. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, I think it's scary when it happens with kids. I think the Hawk Tour girl, ugh, I can't even stand saying it, is, is more in line with uh, Catch Me Outside. Yeah. It's more in line with that. But see what happens. Look at what happened with Cash Me Outside Girl. Oh, she is Honey Boo Boo, notorious, Do you that? and now very rich. Uh, yeah, fuck that kid. Yeah, well, I, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk shit about that <laughs> at all. So, hey, fuck them kids. <laughs> but also, fuck that kid. <laughs> like, I don't know where she is now. Well, she got a whole show out of that. That uh, out of being. Oh yeah, it wasn't like here comes Honey Boo Boo or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like because she, she that what that whole Honey Boo Boo popularity came out of what like a drag. Not drag, sorry. It I, was uh, um. A, uh, it wasn't like dance moms. No, it was um a child. Uh, oh my god, pageant. Oh, a beauty pageant. Or yeah, beauty. Yes, yeah, child beauty pageant. First of mine. all, and she was just. Why do those exist? I first of all, gross. Also, seek therapy. Yes, but like she was just like the most outlandish kid out of the bunch, and everybody latched on. But to hey, it. listen, there are tons of outlandish kids out there. There are tons of kids that say the weirdest, dumbest shit, funniest shit yeah. every day. Our daughter included. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm we not going to be put her on famous. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean that we need to throw thousands and thousands and millions of yeah. dollars at these kids. I mean, the only I I don't it scares me when things like that happen with kids because yeah. you know you worry about their safety. Yeah. Because and you're robbing them of their childhood too. Robbing them of their, well, it depends on how much success and fame you get mm -hmm. and how much money you get. Like a, a good example, I think, hello? <gasps> oh my God. Well, oh, this is kind of like on top of, I almost took my headphones off and then I was like, fuck it. Yeah. But like a, a decent example would be a kid like all these fucking YouTube families that I can't stand. Yeah. You yeah. want to talk about like Ryan's world. If you got a kid out there, there's no fucking way you don't know what I'm talking about with yeah. Ryan's world. Um, the fact that you got famous by with your kid opening up toys. Yeah. But kids eat that they shit eat it up. up. But then you worry about Ryan mm -hmm. as a person, yeah. as a human person. The fact that he's just, if we're going to call a spade a spade, he's getting pimped out by his parents for money. Yeah. That's another reason why I don't really like posting our daughter online. One, a, yeah. a, a very secondary reason, because mm -hmm. it's not that I think we're going to get like rich and famous off of her. Yeah, but no. like, I also don't like the feeling of posting my kid for people that I don't even know. I don't even, I haven't met in real life mm -hmm. even. It just feels like I'm using my kid, You're pimping out my likes. kid to get internet points. Yeah. And I don't give a shit about how many likes I get, how many thumbs ups I get. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, that doesn't do anything for me. 
So that's part of why I don't do it. But then you think of a kid like Ryan mm -hmm. and he, I don't know how old he was when, he, when they first started that channel. He was young. Four, five years old at least. I think he was like five. Um, and you wonder how much of his childhood is, because whenever you look at these family YouTube channels, mm -hmm. what annoys me about it with our daughter watching a good amount of them yeah, is they're, that they're they are constantly just, playing it. Well, yes, yeah. it's, it's much like all the other social medias. It's not a slice of life. It is all we're seeing is the most perfect aspects of your life that you're willing to share with people. Mm -hmm. We don't get to see the bad stuff. We don't get to see you the don't frustration. Just, yeah, you don't, don't get see to what see happens the when crying. the camera's not rolling. Exactly. And you wonder, are these parents this happy go lucky off camera? Oh, Ryan, we want to play with you 24 fucking seven. What or can we do? They shoplifting because they can, oh. yeah. Yeah, Ryan's mom. Yeah, because they want you know they want the thrill of stealing Got in something. Trouble. Kleptomaniac over here. Homegirl has millions of dollars and needs to get her uh, jimmies off by stealing. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. But you worry, yeah. and then it's a great point. Now Ryan, maybe when he's growing up, people might bully him about his mom, mm -hmm. or they might bully him about things he said when he was fucking five because yeah. some of it's probably cringy and mm -hmm. embarrassing. And and then they have like the, this whole like. Um, I don't, I'm not getting the attention in the real world as I do on main character syndrome. Yeah, main, main character Why syndrome. isn't everyone giving me attention 24 seven? Because nobody gives a fuck about you. <laughs> well, and I also think about um, another channel that our mm. daughter watches. Um, I would watch Ryan, I think 10 out of 10 times before yeah. I watch A for Adley. Oh my God. I think Holy we've, we've shit. Said, I think we talked about it before because like at least Ryan's world has a couple of different like videos and stuff where they attempt to be educational right. and like the mom tries to explain like density of water when it's frozen mm -hmm. and all that stuff. A for Ali has none of that shit. It's playtime yeah. all the time. The Like she screams, she's obnoxious. She's encouraged to be like sort of rude sometimes. Yeah. And it's like, I don't like this at all. But the thing about that channel is mm -hmm. there was one day that I must have had nothing fucking better to do. And I Googled them a lot. Mm -hmm. And you come to find out that like, it sounds like the dad is just kind of the attention whore of the family yeah, and um, tries to like center things around he himself. He is the most obnoxious out of all of them. Though. And that the mom kind of gets dragged along for the ride. Mm -hmm. And well, at least she has a lot of money you yeah. know, because of it. But then you worry, you think about and you wonder, you worry, how happy is their life off camera? Is everything always a production? Do they, yeah, because, are they ever allowed to just be kids? Are they ever allowed to just relax? Yeah. And that's what I'm, as, as annoying as the kids are, and as much as I'm like, yo, fuck Adley. <laughs> as annoying as they are, mm -hmm. if you strip all that away and just look at them as a child, you wonder, like, because you look at kids that, like, Nickelodeon kids and Disney yeah. kids, and they grow up a lot of times to have a lot of issues mm -hmm. because they were constantly pushed to make content. Because whether it's content in the form of a TV show or content in the form of a YouTube video. Or a vlog or something. Or yeah. a vlog. They're constantly being, they're, they always have to be on. They always have to be in entertainment yeah. mode. Do they ever get to just be a kid and exist? Yeah. You know, and you wonder what that's going to do for them in the long term. Mm -hmm. You know, are they going to get bullied? Yeah. Are they going to spiral into like depression? Mm -hmm. Like we've seen pull any of these other Oh, shows. yeah. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the rise of these kind of famous kids, child stars, if you if you will, mm -hmm. as opposed to like the Nickelodeon and Disney kids if, that we grew up with. It'll probably be similar, but uh, but like with the di like a different flavor of it. Because I think it's, it's like, gonna be worse. Probably because it because not all because like with the, I haven't watched that Nickelodeon documentary just yet, but I like either. but like it's one thing to have like a producer take advantage of your child and like the parents all kind of professionally professionally mean, right? yeah. Okay, yeah but then like. With these YouTube kids, it's not like a production doing it. It's your fucking parents. Exactly. So that's got to be more damaging. And it's 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 a tight rope to walk yeah. working with family. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know we that. Can, both of our families can attest to that. Yeah. We've, we both, on both of our sides of the family, we have people working for family with family. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. Yeah, like working with family is great, but sometimes it's like, you want to say something, but it's like, do do I do I act do do I want to damage one my professional relationship with the family and also my personal relationship because mm -hmm. it's probably easier to get taken advantage of. Yeah, so that's a fine line, but like that's a big reason why I refuse to because like to re refuse to make content with our daughter. It would be fun. It would be fun. It would probably get a lot of like popularity and probably, internet points because she's cute as shit. Yeah, and she she loves the camera and she's hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But I don't want to become one of those channels where it's like, I'm just 
using my kid. Pimping my kid out yeah. for likes and money. Because, yeah, there's a couple of TikToks that, that I come across where it's like a kid playing in the backyard and the, the, the dad or the mom is like, the parent is into vfx like an amateur vfx artist like i am and they like comp in a bunch of like mario stuff yeah, and like that's, cute. So that's super cool and it's fun for the kid to see like oh look you're in the mario world but it's like do i want to put my daughter out there like that right i don't really want to i don't for many so. reasons but yeah i don't know how we got down this <laughs> but yeah no yeah i do i think it might be worse for these kids growing up mm-hmm. because at least disney and nickelodeon kids mm-hmm. you know at least everything that m- yeah, at the time at, when we were growing up, none of this shit existed. Yeah, we didn't even have cell phones when we were like these kids' ages. Yeah, back then, whatever the child stars put out there was heavily curated and edited. Yeah, nowadays, every fucking move you make is recorded and put on the internet. Yeah, which is kind of scary. Looking at it as an adult mm-hmm. for those kids, you know. Yeah, when, as a parent too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When every moment you could just. That kid could walk out of their bedroom in the morning and the parents are like, okay, do it. <laughs> do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Make me money. Like every moment of their lives is documented, which in a way is cool. It's, yeah. In some cases it could be fun, but like when but you- But in other cases, yeah. it's probably a bit too much and it's probably crossing a line, but whatever, as long as the parents get their paycheck, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I would never- I know. I, I don't want to do that because like, like, like I said, like I, I'm trying, I'm going to try to do more stuff that leans into, because like- this channel has gone through so many iterations of like, hey, I wanted to, to do some small VFX stuff, didn't get any popularity. Then I got into movie reviews, mm-hmm. then I got into podcasting. Then it's like, now we're starting to hit uh, a form where it's like, I'm back to where I wanted, what I wanted to do originally was make short, like VFX based content, mm. like filmmaking. I want to get back to that. And that's what seems to be popping off right now. Popping off. So I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start leading into that. I'm gonna start making tutorials about this is how I do this. This is how I do that. And because like, like I said, like now that we have a hundred thousand subscribers, like I feel like I, I'm obligated to make other things mm. and not just lean on like this one short that's been really popular. Oh, your mom was just telling us how she. Liked- <laughs> she just leaves our podcast on. Well, no, she. Well, yeah, that. Yeah. But she was also telling us how she liked when I had the wine and I talked about stuff. Yeah. Maybe we should lean into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mommy hasn't had a. a- mm-hmm. A whole bottle of wine in a while. Yeah. No, but yeah, I, I've been looking into our analytics and it's like th- this type of content, the stuff that I originally wanted to do with this channel is starting to get traction. So it's like, I really should start taking advantage of that and mm. getting back. And it seems to be be popular now. It seems to be what people are coming to our channel for now. Mm. Not, not just the show, but like things that I've been originally wanting to do for the longest time. And I have been holding off on it because it's like, do I want to do it and have it hit like just not do anything. Now there seems to be an audience for it. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what I'm getting at. It's like, I'm gonna be more getting into tutorial base and like behind the scenes type of stuff for stuff that I, I wanna make and start mm-hmm. making things that I've been meaning to make and just didn't think that I had an audience for it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. You're, mm-hmm. You're, you're drifting and you don't care about <laughs> what I have to say. Of course I do. <laughs> of course I care about what you have to say. Yeah. Sometimes I just uh, <laughs> you contribute to the conversation. <laughs> just I'm letting you have your moment. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the fan on. It's starting to get hot in there. You know, before I was cold, I was almost going to go grab my jacket, but now it is a it little is toasty. <laughs> You're right. It's a little warm in here. Yeah. Yeah. But th- there's like we were talking about before, like buzzwords, like. Oh, my God. Content creator is one of them. Influencer. Influencer is another. It's kind of lo- it's along the same lines as entrepreneur. It's like. Entrepreneur is the boomer millennial version of creator <laughs> or influencer, kind of. <laughs> Entrepreneur it's, feels much more yeah. our era. Yeah, it's like, so you have no job, basically. It's like, you're you're unemployed. It's like, well, no, I'm working on this one thing. It's like, all right, tell me one thing that has been let, that's been really successful. That like, There's a difference between an entrepreneur that has several different businesses and an entrepreneur that doesn't know what they're doing yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> so it's like... Mm, I don't like. I'm not trying to shit on you if you're an entrepreneur and you are successful at it. Like there are successful, there are successful people out there that that work for themselves and own several different things. But like when I hear the word entrepreneur, it's like basically you're you you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Spicy. I don't know. It's it's just one of those words where like I roll my eyes. Like, all right, so what do you actually do? 
<laughs> narrow it down. For narrow me. it down for me. It's like, oh, I own a franchise in, in this and like, you know, it's like, okay, then didn't say that. Don't like, tell. Do you say entrepreneur on your resume? <laughs> Probably. Probably. So just tell me what you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need a bit more specific. Yeah. You know, details and that. Yeah. But like content creator is another one of those where it's like. It just kind of, it really um, grinds my gears yeah. that you look at. You know, the people that do post their kids all over social media, mm -hmm. more power to you, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like the people that do and they post their <laughs> something that I have not and will never get into is the people who do the this is my first day in kindergarten. And my teacher is Mrs. Such and such. And my favorite <laughs> color is blue and my favorite number is three and like all that kind of stuff. And um, wait, hold on. I just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking blanked out. No, when they when and uh, on the board and it's like, uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? YouTuber? Get the fuck out of my face. Or is this YouTuber mm -hmm. or influencer or something? And it's like, what happened to astronaut? Yeah. What happened to doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just wants to be a Twitch streamer. That's which a, I get it because I get it's, it's, it's a job, but almost not really because it feels more fun than a job. But mm -hmm. then again, it's I know that we 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 personally know some people that would be like it's not actually all fun and games and it's like I'm sure it's I'm not sure, yeah no because people are pretty vicious online and yeah. I know I wouldn't want to deal with that mm -hmm. like people are nasty in comments anytime anything happens in like world news current they events they need to know your they, stance on it they need to expect yeah you to have a, a stance on it mm -hmm. and make a statement about it bro if I'm here to entertain you I'm here to entertain you yeah. But I guess people use your platform to spread the message and which I understand. Yes, I get that. But like there, there are other ways to support things other than coming out on a camera. It's like, hey, I stand with this. It's like there's also just sometimes that I just want to not think and I don't want to be reminded of all the bullshit mm -hmm. going on in the world. Like it is good. I know that they always say if you voice, if you don't yeah. stand for something, you'll fall for everything or something like that. Whatever the saying is. Like, yeah. I get it. Like everybody, most everybody has stances on stuff yeah, and opinions on political stuff mm -hmm. and world news and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes I just want to not fucking think <laughs> and I just want to be mindlessly entertained. Yeah. And most of the time it's kind of like, which like when, when something comes out, like wh where do you stand on it? It's like, what is the one that, you know, is obviously like, Hey, yeah, that's pretty wrong. You know where we'll stand. <laughs> You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. When it's like, when, when it's like so obvious, like, yeah, that was pretty shitty. Maybe they shouldn't do that. But I guess, you know, yeah. there are some people that there are mm. some people, a lot of people, countless people mm -hmm. that will, if they hear a certain political opinion from somebody, even if they liked them before, oh, fuck, I'm on boycotting them now. Yeah. So I guess, you know, people want to surround themselves personally and yeah entertainment wise i guess with people that have like-minded views which i, I guess. get i get i get, I get it. it because there are probably some things that people could say that would make me go oh <laughs> never mind <Yeah. laughs> so i get it yeah but i just if i were one of those people yeah. i i i would be like i am not obligated to share <laughs> every opinion yeah. i have with you yeah and i don't think people would like that <laughs> yeah. so you know that's why i'm here <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I just, I can't, mm -hmm. I see, I see like Alex and Molly having to deal with all the bullshit that they deal yeah. with. And it's like, um, it's like, pass. yeah, I'm good. Like, there's certain things with like, yeah, you got to come out of a statement. It's like, but I follow you for star Wars. Just, you know, I come to you to yeah. talk about star Wars and see your opinion on this latest episode of the acolyte. What do you, would you think about it? Maybe there's certain things about it that you caught that I didn't. That's why I tune into you. I don't tune into you like, Hey, what's your stance on, on abortion? It's like, Bro, I don't <laughs> No, <Yeah. laughs> I talk about Star Wars. But yeah. at the same time, yeah. like half of me is like, I just, mm -hmm. I just want an escape. Like yeah. that's, that's what my entertainment is. That's what my YouTube and my TikTok are for yeah. is to escape from the bullshit of the world. Yeah. But at the same time, I do recognize that it is important for people with larger platforms to, yeah. to voice their opinion, to and, use yeah. them, to make people feel seen, make people feel heard, make mm -hmm. people feel included and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess it's a good thing that I, you know, yeah, that we're not big, <laughs> that we don't have to really deal with that, you know, yeah. but on a lighter note, we did talk about like 
thirst traps and like being thirsty on the internet. Oh, uh, yes. So I, and I did mention the Acolyte a second ago because like. Which I haven't been watching. It's. I've watched. It's fine. One or two scenes from it's the whole series so far. Fine. I mean, as of this recording, episode six just dropped and it was like, okay, it's back to being fine. Because episode I mean, five. Not every single episode can yeah, be a banger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, my overall thought on the Acolyte right now, it would have been better as like a two part movie. Like two movies at most. Hmm. Because, like, the way it's formatted, it's, like, they, they want to leave us on a cliffhanger, but it's, like, oh, that didn't hit very well. Mm. And I think, it like, a, two things I think would, it would in my opinion, would have made me more appealing to the show is make it a, mo- make it a like, two-part movie and tell it from the perspective of the of the the, uh, the bad guy. That would have been far more interesting to me. Especially yeah. after episode five. It's, like, oh. I guess how often do we get things from the point of view of the bad guy? Yeah. And like that's what I thought we were getting. Like, oh, the acolytes. Like, okay, so dark side user. Okay, we're gonna tell this perspective of like a dark force user. Nope, Mm-mm. that's not what we got. Mm. So, it, but th- th- it's weird because like when episode five <laughs> dropped, and it's clearly the best episode of the entire series so far. The, like already, like the, the the discourse online was like, oh, it sucks. Oh, it's it's fine. And like the I'll, like all Star Wars shit, like the audience is split. Of course. After episode five drop, it was basically either the show is shit or you're thirsting over the Filipino guy. <laughs> you do be which, looking good, though. Which is, man, I mean, how can I not like this character? Like. Ma- Manny Ma- Jacinto. Manny Jacinto. I mean, he do be looking good. Just, though. just from perspective, homeboy did yeah. not skip arm day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but good like, just, just coming from a lifelong Filipino Star Wars fan. I mean, how can I not like skip this character? Okay, so see, let's talk about something else very serious. This is why representation is important in media. My God, <laughs> the fact that you got so. I remember when the acolyte was like first. Yeah, like teased. Announced teased. Yeah, and. They they, they, started, they re- started revealing the cast. Revealing some of the cast, but you didn't necessarily know who they were going to be and what yeah. part they were going to play. Yeah. And I do feel like I remember when Manny Jacinto was like. Uh, like, yeah, attached. In, attached to the project. And yeah. you were like, oh man, I hope he's a Jedi. Like, I hope he's super badass. Yeah. And I'm like, I it just, it blows my, I don't mean to bring it back to political stuff. Yeah. <laughs> because I usually fucking hate talking about political stuff. But yeah. there's certain things that I could talk about for a long time. And yeah. this is. Uh, one of them yeah. is whenever people are like, you always got to make sure you got the character that's this background and character looks like that, this color mm-hmm. skin. Papa. Yes, it's important. And that's why, because <laughs> your entire life, your entire 39 years of existence. And this is like the first Filipino character you've gotten that in my, in my favorite franchise, just exactly yeah. in this franchise. That just the fact that if you don't even know what role he was playing yeah. and you were like, Oh man, I'm so fucking excited to see what he's doing. Yeah. And what's, even and they more bait, exciting. They, they, they bait and switched to me too. It's like, oh, he's he's a nobody character. Oh, that's what's even more exciting yeah. is because we when we first heard, we were like, you know, what if he's just like a background, like secondary, tertiary character? But yeah. homeboy is like the main bad guy, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's super exciting, even though he's a bad guy. Who cares? You know, mm-hmm. we all. The, and he's a very interesting villain too. Like, I'm sure he is. Not, not he looks great. I know. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that last episode when he took his shirt off. Oh, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, go swim in that lake, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of what I'm going to say about this character is kind of like tilted a little bit because like, biased. Just a little, not, I might be a little biased, but like generally he's a very interesting character from everything we've gotten from his reveal. Uh, spoiler alert, he's the bad guy of him Uh-oh. being revealed to be the Sith Lord because like he's not actually said that he's a Sith just yet. Mm. But the fact of all these things, like he keeps saying things that adds layers onto a mystery and like revealing more things about like who he is. It's like, that's an interesting way to look at it. And also he has this one thing because like, again, spoiler, if you haven't seen Accolade up until this point, kind of turn it off because I am getting into spoilers right here. This is one thing they did with his helmet. I don't know if you heard it. It's made of cortosis. And like, oh yes, cortosis. Yes. You saw the fight when when the lightsaber struck his helmet. It like deactivated. It absorbs energy and like causes the lightsaber to short out oh, yeah, momentarily. You told me about that, yeah. The, the, one of the reasons why he wears it is to one have an advantage over lightsaber wielding people and have an advantage in, in combat. But also, it's like a sensory depri- deprivation. 
Is that the right, right word? It cuts his senses off from the surrounding world. To make him feel more? To make him be more connected to the Force. Interesting. Because, like, he said this line, again, spoilers, and, and thing, it's like, because uh, one of the characters asked him about, like, what's with the helmet? And it's like, it's like when we were, because he, spoiler alert, he was a former Jedi. It's like, it's like when we were Padawans, when we cut off our senses mm-hmm. in I was going to say, it's like it's a training helmet. Yeah. It's, it's exactly what he's doing, but he's doing it during combat. So he can't see out of it? He, very low. It's like the slits are like really tiny. So hmm. like it cuts his vision off. It cuts his hearing off. It, it, it cuts That's off his cool. senses to the surrounding world. It's like, and he literally says like, so it's just you and the force. It's like. That's awesome because that's, really cool, that's basically what you've been trained to do as a as a Padawan is connect with the Force by cutting yourself off from all their senses. Don't something, trust your something, senses. Something, feel, don't think. Yeah, exactly. It's like trust the Force enough to to guide you to the correct spot. It's like such a wholesome thing for a bad guy to say. Yeah. He's using what he was taught as a Padawan and taking it to the next level. Cute. Good for him. That's I like, hope he that's succeeds. That's super cool. We haven't seen any, any Force wielder do that. To my knowledge in canon, until this character. Mm. That's so cool. And just add on to the fact mm-hmm. that he is a Filipino. How exciting is that? That's cool. As like, because the second he was announced, like, I really hope he's a, he has a really, I don't care what he is, he, as long as it's a dope costume, <laughs> that's my next cosplay. <laughs> and you. then, and then he gets revealed as the Sith Lord and his, I'm not a big fan of the helmet. It looks really... I wish it looked a little bit different. I think and, the, the, and the like mouth thing is kind of yeah, weird. That yes, and then also it, like when the black like I can't remember who Hasbro came out like they're like they the, when when the episode dropped they announced like here's the black series helmet of it and it's copper. I'm like ugh, don't I'd rather just be black with accents of copper. Yeah, well whatever. But his like basic outfit with the, without the mask without the cloak the black one the black one it's very like. Very Mortal Kombat Ninja Samurai. Kind of. And Noob Saiba kind yeah, of, but black. It's, it's very simple. And you know me. Yeah. How, like, oh, it's, you're a very simple person. It's yes. very <laughs> simple, but it has like intricate designs on it. I'm like, I need that now. Yeah. I re- and his lightsaber is, it, everything about his outfit is like, you might as well just made it for me because like, I want to wear it so badly. Like the, the, the gauntlet, the lightsaber that comes off and have this little dagger thingy that comes out from the bottom of it. And, Cute. It's so cool. Like I want, I like. I'm waiting for like one the cosplay like websites that make actual suits, so I don't have to make it myself. Hmm. I'm waiting for it to drop. Like, when is it? When is it? Where is it? Where is well, it? See, and that's why representation is important. <laughs> because if this was some other random fucking white dude, mm-hmm. would you be half as excited about it? No, not really. Exactly. Like, that's why it's fucking important. Yeah, like, like <laughs> everybody wants to be able to see somebody that looks like them. Yeah. On screen. Because, and yeah. Because. You are so excited to cosplay as this guy because how many other fucking times have you cosplayed as like Luke or Han or whatever and somebody makes some racist bullshit comment to you on TikTok? Yeah, and I, I am a little self-conscious sometimes where like, I'm going to make a video with Han and Luke and it's like, it doesn't come across really well because, you know, one, you know, the way I look. It's like, the subtext can only take me so far yeah. and like, people are so basic. A, lo- a lot of people are just so basic. Like, you don't look like him, so... You can't be him. You can't be him. Yeah, and people have literally told mm-hmm. you s- as such. Yeah. Multiple times. But now there's times. a character that... Straight up, I kind of do look like this guy. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, and like... He How ha- fun for all of us. And he, he has like... He has peach fuzz that looks exactly like my peach fuzz. It's like... I just think that... I think that a lot of us that tend to... C- come in this shade <laughs> are have been so spoiled for so long that mm. um like fucking everybody looks like us yeah so it doesn't seem like a big deal to people i don't i'm sorry for taking mm-hmm. it in this direction but like i feel like uh every character uh, you know every other character you see is white and mm-hmm. it's not a or novelty. white man it's not a novelty for white people so a lot of people mm-hmm. a lot of white people are probably like what's the big deal why do we have to make sure we have this person and that person and that person Because first of all, variety is a spice of life. Yeah. And do I really want everybody, everybody to look like me? No. Yeah. Like, and also it's important because you're a grown ass man and you're excited over seeing somebody that looks like you. Imagine the children out there watching, not even just Star Wars, Mm -hmm. everything, any, a TV show. The fact that Blue's Clues for, you know, the first two iterations of Steve, I know that they're not all Steve, but like Steve and then the second one, Joe. Joe. Yeah, Joe. 
um, two white dudes, two nondescript white dudes. And then they have a Filipino cousin. And all of a sudden, boom, <laughs> Josh comes along. <laughs> Filipino Steve. <laughs> and our daughter mm -hmm. was so excited to learn that Josh is Filipino mm -hmm. like her. They have a whole episode surrounding that. Hey, I'm Filipino. I'm proud to be a Filipino. Let me make this Let's Filipino make dish. Let's make this one Filipino dessert. Yeah. Let's make this other Filipino dish. And My she, Lola's coming over. She's so excited. We don't we don't call your parents Lola and whatever the grandfather version is. Yeah, yeah, it's a different dialect. It's, um, I don't think it's I think it's Pangasinan. Whatever they're Tagalog. from, wherever he's from. Yeah. But just the fact that our daughter was like so super excited mm -hmm. of like, oh my god, I'm Filipino. I'm like that's why it's important. Mm -hmm. This tiny little human being excited over a connection that she can make with somebody on screen. Yeah. That's one yeah. of the reasons why it's so important. Yeah, there's certain aspects where it's like I'm I'm sorry that she has to grow up in this the world that we live in right now, but then there are other things like blues like that like diversity wise like I'm glad she's growing up in this is cuz like like I said, I've been a I've been a, a Star Wars fan my entire life and it took close to 40 years for them to put it, get a Filipino character. In the in canon, yeah, it took forty years for them to get to, to to do that. It's ridiculous, but also I feel like we're just in a kind of a transitional period, mm -hmm. kind of where, you know, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. hmm, I don't say <laughs> how do I not piss off half the internet? How do I want to say this without <laughs> sounding like an asshole? But like when we were growing up, I don't know, the diversity thing wasn't really it wasn't as I, I hesitate to say the word pushed, yeah, but it wasn't quite as prioritized. Yeah. Nowadays, I think that a lot of people are pushing against the diversity thing mm -hmm. because it's different. People don't like change. Yeah. And they say that it feels disingenuous mm -hmm. and that, oh, well, you know, I don't have a problem with, you know, people of different races. Yeah. I just I have a problem with the fact that it's, it's so forced. And it's like, listen. It might need to be this way for a while. Mm -hmm. It might need to it, it might need to be or feel forced for a while for it to become the new norm. Just to feel organic, yeah. To feel exactly yeah. to not feel forced. Yeah. We might have to go through this thing where it is kind of just pushed in your face over and mm -hmm. over and over again, even though I don't really view it as such. I don't, yeah. But it might need to be that way for it to become the norm. Yeah. Like you, if you walk out into the world, you go out to the st grocery store, you go to Disney, you go to wherever you want to go. Why shouldn't what I look at on screen be like what I'm yeah, seeing when I go out your, into the world? Yeah. Unless you live in a place where it is just one race, <laughs> which, it, you know, if that's where you live, that's where you live. That's fine. But like we live in an area that is quite diverse. Oh, yeah. I love how diverse our neighborhood is. And not even just the neighborhood, just yeah. like in general. But yeah, I see what you're saying. The school, the neighborhood. The school, the neighborhood. Yeah, it's like. Like, not, yeah. it's kind of a breath of fresh air. It's kind of refreshing and shouldn't, you know, I know we have like a focus on kids because we have a fucking kid. Yeah. But like, it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important for people to see people that look different than them, to be able to find ways to relate to somebody that doesn't look like them, mm -hmm. learn different things about different backgrounds. Isn't it fun to learn about different cultures and I don't know. I just, it blows my mind yeah. when I hear people get mad about representation. And it's probably, I'm assuming, it, it, mostly white people. Yeah. There, there's many re reasons why we're seeing more diverse castings and, and stuff like that. Because like a lot of the people that are making these shows. Are they themselves? They're diverse. Diverse. Yeah. 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 And it, should, it shouldn't fucking matter. Yeah. It's not like a black person's only gonna put out one type of thing. Yeah. It's not like an Asian person's only gonna be able to produce one kind of thing. Uh, they, it's yeah. almost as though it doesn't fucking really matter. Like, yeah, your background might influence certain things, choices mm -hmm. that you make, but to pigeonhole somebody mm -hmm. to be like, oh, well, you know, just looking at the color of their skin. Yeah. I don't know, There's, I just think it's kind of yeah. silly. I have my prop, my issues with the show, mainly like production wise, like the writing kind of is kind of flat sometimes. The editing is, it, it it's weird and transitionally sometimes, but like the thing I really applaud the show for is, is one is like how diverse it is. The two main leads aren't white. The villain is, isn't white. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the two, the two pillars of the show, the main antagonist and the main good guy, they're both Asian, which is awesome. The protagonist and the, the bad guy, the, pro the main protagonist and the main antagonist, they're both it, the, is the guy from squid games. He's Korean. Oh, I know who you're so, talking yeah, about. So yeah, the main the main uh, protagonist is, is Korean, and the main antagonist is Filipino. Cute. That's I don't think I've seen that in 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 geek 
in any of the geek things that I watch. And how exciting. Because do you really think if you go out into, mm-hmm. you know, another fucking galaxy like Star Wars that mm-hmm. everybody's going to be white? Yeah. Take one stroll through Chalman's Cantina <laughs> in A New Hope and tell me if every one of those aliens looks the same. Yeah. I what? mean, just just looking at alien mm-hmm. species in Star Wars alone is enough to be like, yeah, no, every human shouldn't look the same either. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's simple as that. But... I don't know. I just I think it's a crazy thing to get upset about. But, you know, uh, people do be uh, resistant to change. Yeah. And there's certain people that are just hate watching the show. It's like, why are you still watching? Why do it to yourself? Why? It's like, you know, you you knew two episodes in you didn't like it. And then again, also, you wouldn't get in, gotten to episode five, which is. We all episode, know why. Yeah. We all know why they're yeah. doing it, because the hate also gets clicks online. Yeah. Because you know that there's going to be hordes of people that mm-hmm. also are mad about it for the same reasons, yeah. probably. And they're going to want to bitch about it together. Yeah. So, you know, that's I, why they keep doing it. I, and I do. I really like the 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 uh, fight choreography in the show. Mm-hmm. It is so like because it's very wushu and it's very like it's always what I wanted to see. Jedi, how I wanted to see Jedi fight is wushu. Kung Fu. So origin Chinese. Yes. OK. Well, I was going to say, if we're just talking about the broad, overarching Mm -hmm. martial arts umbrella, Mm -hmm. doesn't it kind of lend itself that it makes sense for there to be characters of Asian origin, considering that samurai have had such a heavy influence on Star Wars from its inception? Yeah, it it is So I understand that that's like Japan, and I understand Wushu was like China, but like, you know, if we're talking about like martial arts in general mm-hmm. they all come from many different countries so it kind of lends itself to that yeah so you know but there, yeah. about time there was it, it, like the action in this is, is very like like china chinese cinema type like like jackie chan like jack you can see you can see like influence of jackie chan jet lee uh donnie yen not so much bruce lee's style donnie yen. well donnie yen like, yeah like when you look at like a donnie yen or like a jet lee movie like how the way that the, the the way that they move, the way that they jump from like place to place, it's very influenced by that. And I'm like, yeah. I've been waiting for this kind of action in Star Wars for a long time. Cause like there's one time in Revenge of the Sith where Anakin and Obi-Wan jump on that one like pole and they're like struggling to keep their balance. Like you've seen other people like just like jump on like the like mu- like they, there's no effort to balance on that. It's like I thought Jedi were supposed to be really good at balance <laughs> and they're struggling like whoa whoa the the, the bar is, is stumbling i don't mean to shit on revenge of the sith i love that movie <laughs> but uh but like there it has its short the conversation time. especially after episode five has been like oh my god like they're they're pitting the action of that against revenge of the sith it's like one they're two different styles two different styles very, two very different choreographers and two different eras yeah. it's like i like how like each iteration of star wars have given us eras of how they have people fight there's a prequel way of fighting then there's the sequel way of fighting and now there's this other way of of how the jedi are they're really at the height of their powers and it's hundreds of years before the prequels they're expect i expect them to move and fight differently yeah it's almost as though things so, evolve over time and i really enjoy this style because it's like it's the right amount of choreographed flash mixed with practical movement the problem I have with, especially with the Revenge of the Sith fight, is it is so overly choreographed. There's no rhythm or flavor yeah, to it. It's, it's mostly it's, flash, less, what it's what did you use? Choreo- choreography. Uh, practical movement. Practical movement. It's like, the practical movement is almost out the window there, and a lot of it's just this. All the fighting's in front of them, and they don't use the full I'm range of motion. Looking my lightsaber around behind my fucking yeah, back. Yeah, like, it's, it's a lot of wrist and a lot of arm, and not a lot of, like body movement and not like practicality practicality i hate to use the word practicality when it comes to like lightsaber fights because we, we know what you mean yeah but like it's still when combat yeah because like i would most i i sort of like attest this new episode of like it's more it's more like phantom menace style where like you can see them sizing each other up and like pausing and like like the mall obi-wan yeah fight. like the mall, mall obi-wan fight or the mall uh quagon fight where they're going down the corridor there's this one moment there where Qui Gon's like, like, bump, 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 and he stops and he goes, yeah. Then he goes. It's yeah. like that's how I imagine fights should happen. Yeah. You take a couple of whacks, you take a second to evaluate, and then you go. And there's another moment where Open One fakes, mm-hmm. and Qui Gon comes in. It's like that's how it should be. Not this because like the Revenge of the Sith, as as much as nostalgia, it, it hits my nostalgia bone. 
from the start of Obi-Wan Anakin fight to the end of it, it's just just constantly, constantly. Just constantly going and like- Like you can't tell me you're not getting tired. Yeah, and there's no, and especially when you look at the behind the scenes for this newer episode, um, Manny's character is like, he's moving in a way where like he- he are purpose- so popular. It's, it's work email. He'll duck and do the knee spin thing. And it's not just to do a knee spin. There's somebody behind him trying to swipe at his head. He ducks and moves. And the way he like shifts his body weight to want to position himself for another attack. It's like, that's how I imagine like these fights should go. Not just like in a straight line. One person is advancing. One person is backing up. It's like, yeah. give me some flavor to the movement. Give some fl- some rhythm and, some, and, and things like that. Because like... Uh, I mean, Luke, Luke has said it himself, these fights should be like music. He purposely takes the music out of certain fights because he thinks that the, the sabers make their own melody and things like that. But when you look at oh, the Obi-Wan Anakin fight, it's like... It's fan service. It's, yeah. So it's like, if you were to... if you, Like a lot of people online are pitting these thing, two styles against each other. I really prefer the new fight to... Uh, as opposed to how the Revenge of the Sith goes, because it's just more, it speaks to me more. It feels more real, probably. It feels, I understand that we all more have practical, more real. It's it's like, I, I've said it before, if you were to make a song out of this new f- a fight scene, it'd be more enjoyable. It, had, it would have rises and falls and dips and ebbs and stuff. And then if you were to make the Obi Wan Anakin fight into a song, it'd just be constant like drums, pots just, and like, pains. Pots and pains, just. It's just that the entire time. So I, I'd much rather, like, whoever they got to court the, as a, a stunt coordinator and fight coordinator for this new show, it's like, bring them back. Mm. Because that, it, wow. that if, the entire show, it, everybody can agree, like, that is, like, the highlight of the, of the show so far. Episode five was just, like, oh, so good. Or so four or five. Yeah, five. And also, so, bad guy do be looking good. What's his name? His name, oh, so his official bad guy name is The Stranger. But his character, nice. when because like he plays, he essentially played two characters. Strange. <laughs> he essentially plays two characters. It was Chimer is like his disguise name. Okay. And then when he switches to the dark side user, he's he has no name, so he's just the stranger. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mysterious. Which is great because like he he's in his interviews he he's like I don't think I'm gonna top a role like this because like he basically plays two characters and he like the first character you see him as is like this bummy. He's like he's very Jack Sparrow. He's like very like aloof and like, oh, I'm bumbling, I'm a bumbling idiot, so you wouldn't suspect me to be the bad guy. But hmm. then when the mask comes off, it's like his voice changes dramatically. It's like I gotta be honest, he might be the one that draws me in to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like because if I am gonna cosplay as this guy, I'm gonna have to hit the gym a bit because like his arms Oh no, that sounds awful. His <laughs> arms, like bro, like there's one like he 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 like when he before he he off someone in the Jedi, like he's like in a struggle with them. It's like Bro, man, mm. your biceps and your trap, like your forearms and your your, your traps and <sighs> your, your biceps and yeah, he just showed me a clip where <laughs> he like takes all his clothes off and he, he's he's got to wash the dirt off of and him and like goes into a lake and goes for a jaunty little dip, a little <laughs> swim, and like at one point he kind of like comes out of the water just enough to where it's like just this is up, and I'm like, oh my god, wow. <laughs> you man <laughs> that's another again about the representation thing it's like over the, like the years of like especially like with, with like the marvel and like henry cavill in dc it's like everybody's thirsting over these white dudes and it's like i for for, for, I mean, reason, for good reason for good henry reason cavill, they're, look they're at like him. like you're looking good and who's like, about to be a dad by the way congrats congrats yeah wow. but it's like yeah, oh yeah of course like, you know white dude looks good but then it's like you see all these tiktoks and the, everybody thirsting over this filipino guy i'm like Okay, so we are hot. Okay. <laughs> it's, ex- it's almost as though it's important. Oh my God. Okay, I guess we can be hot too. Cool. <laughs> How validating. Oh my God. It's almost as though it's important. <sighs> Get out of my fucking face. And I do, like, another thing that I do appreciate is, like, he's not, like, over, like, he's not, like, no. Can't wipe my ass, Jack. He's not like, thing. damn, bro's juicing. Yeah. Like, he it's, looks it's very it's, attainable. I mean, you have to spend a lot of fucking time oh, yeah, in no. the gym, probably with a trainer. But it's it's but it's not unrealistic. It's not unrealistic and it, it's appropriate for his form. Right. And for his for and for the way he moves, like for his frame. It's, for his it's frame, appropriate for how yeah. he is. How yeah. how his character moves and all that stuff. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense for him to be 
it's appropriate for him to be that not that um cut yeah he, yeah he's, he's cut he's not he's not like swollen well because like who's a good example henry campbell <laughs> I don't want to talk shit about Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's appropriate for him to be that big because he's fucking. Well, if Superman. he's like fucking Superman, if you got if you got lats and traps and delts <laughs> and whatever to the point where you can't even put your fucking arms down, yeah, that's not really practical. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean his his he's doing good. <laughs> <laughs> he did a great job. He looks great. If I am gonna, there's two things that will have to happen if I if and when I do cosplay as this character. Uh-huh. Number um, one. Number one, I'm going to have to hit the weights. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And number two, I'm going to have to get a wig because his hair is very is very different to mine. Length L- or texture? Texture. His hair is straighter than mine and it falls differently. I got to straighten it, baby. No, it, it's, it's like it's my hair is thicker and wavier and it's just- You it, do have some thick hair. Yeah. So like I'm gonna have to get a wig to appropriately have the hair come down. I mean, properly. you could grow it out a little bit more again. It won't be the same. It it, just, it won't fall the same as his. I, I'm gonna oh, have well. to get a wig. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> or I can just wear the helmet, which. I liked your longer hair. <laughs> I'm the asshole, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. I might actually have to go back and and watch the Good Place because there's a clip that yeah, I put back to back on TikTok, and it's funny. Like I saw a clip from the show. It's like people keep calling me Taiwanese, and then, and I'm Filipino. That's racist. I'm like, oh my god, you're so popular. I haven't gotten a single notification. It's all, it's all the TikTok comments in my Except last video. Except for baby. this, my fucking <laughs> lady app. And it's funny too because like, when I saw it, he's like, oh, he's wearing a Barack Tagalog. Cool. Was he? Yeah. Well, not not in in the good place when oh, from the okay. clip I saw. It's I like say, everybody Star thinks Wars? I'm Taiwanese, but I'm I'm actually Filipino. That's racist. I'm like, oh, cool. Wait, was I'm sorry. I was kind of half paying attention. Was it actually him or was it, it was actually him? Oh, okay. No, he's he he's. Uh, what did you say? Quiet place, good place. The uh, uh, the the good place with um, what's her name? Oh, Bell, Kristen Bell. It's a it's a, a NBC show. I heard really good things about it. I thought you said a quiet place, and I thought that it was that one. Also with a good John movie. John Krasinski and what's her face? Emily, what's her Emily face? Emily Blunt, his wife. Emily Blunt, his wife, and then they're on a boat and they got to be quiet. No, no, no. that's <laughs> the one with Sandra Bullock. Um, what's that one called? That I don't know what that the one, one is. with Sandra Bullock and she's wearing the bird blindfold. something something bird. Also heard some good things about that one. A quiet. A quiet place is that's the one with the alien that you can't make sounds. So yeah, you don't open a bag of chips. That is a fantastic movie. Such a good movie. Love they actually have, they had the sequel, which I don't think was as good. I haven't seen it yet. And then there's the prequel to it that I heard really good things about. <laughs> Sandra Bullock blindfold movie. Bird Box. Bird Box. That's what it is. There you go. That's the one. I like how I didn't even finish my search. It goes, did you want to search for Sandra Bullock blindfold? <laughs> like, yep. yep. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've definitely seen all these movies. I can't believe I, I can't didn't believe remember. You, d- you didn't remember those movies. I've seen every single one of them. They're all very enriching. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, to wrap, sum it up, there's a Filipino dude in Star Wars. I'm super excited about him. To wrap it up, representation's important. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your kids off social media. Protect their youth. <laughs> and we reached 100,000 subscribers. And we reached 100,000 subscribers. There you go. There's the TLDR. TLDR comment. of this episode. Join us next week when I go on a rant about something else I could talk about for a very long time that happens to have kind of a political theme to it. <laughs> I won't do that. No. Yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's probably the most political we'll get. Is representation. I don't know what my deal is today, but yeah, it just mm. felt right. It felt it right. Felt right. It's, you start it's... talking about, you know, Filipino people on the acolyte and it just felt right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Anyways. So we'll go ahead and end here. I don't, do you want to want to say where people can find you online? <laughs> no, okay, well, let's get I just spent so long talking about how I hate social media. <laughs> okay, so you, <laughs> you can find me if you fucking need to. Yeah, so but you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Rogue Leader Drew. If you are listening to us on audio form, please follow the feed and rate us. I fixed that problem. <laughs> mm. I was logging in with the wrong, wrong email. And if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell icon, the lower right-hand corner. See, we do things on the YouTube. Which will probably be more filmmaking stuff eventually. Oh, when I get shit. To it. I'm obligated now. We have so many followers. Y'all want to see me do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Radcast. Maybe I'll stream video games and fucking freak out the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I won't. <laughs> we'll see you guys next, next time. time. <laughs>